Well, All welcome right. to the webinar, EV charging stations and smart EV charging solutions live before a studio audience, seemingly in my kitten, kitchen, just kidding. We're glad you're here. Sorry to start a minute here late, but we are grateful you're taking these 30 minutes of your day to join us. And we plan to make this webinar a beat, informative and worth your time. I'm your host, Brian Paul Buckley, and uh, I'm the channel director right now for um, InHand Networks and I oversee Channel and Carrier, but to also have our, our co-host here that is with me and uh, none other than Mark Boyd. Hello and good afternoon, everybody. As Brian said, my name is Mark Boyd and I'm a sales engineer with InHand Networks. I'm gonna be your main point of contact for any questions or information you need about EV charging devices solution after this webinar. My contact information is going to be listed uh, here shortly. So feel free to reach out to me via email, phone, or text is more, more convenient at any time. And for whatever reason, our video is not working. Mark, do you have the next slide? It can at least show some visuals of the suspects. There's our guys. Right now, uh, Mark does not look that young and good looking for those following along at home. Um, he has <laughs> aged since working with me on there, but there's the contact information. Love to hear from it. If you have anything you'd like to um, reach out to us on, feel free to do that. We'll also have that slide at the very, very end. Hey, Mark, where, where are we headed the next few minutes? So Brian, what we have on the agenda for today is first a brief introduction of who we are as a company, uh, some of the common challenges EV charging owners and operators face, and finally, overviewing our router and smart computer solutions for EV charging, followed by a Q&A session. So if there's any questions that come up as we're presenting, feel free to submit those in the Q&A chat box, and we'll make sure that to address those at the end of the uh, webinar. Perfect. And those questions are at no additional charge. We'd absolutely love to hear from you. Well, there's one question that we hear often, and we absolutely love this question. Who is this in-hand networks anyway? And it's a great question because we really can answer it with one number in three words. The number is in-hand networks is actually the third largest industrial cellular router company in the world by volume. Now, when I came to work for in-hand networks two and a half years ago, that man, that statement, that could preach right there. That statement got my attention. I'm like, wow. But then I was wondering about by, by value. That just means the scale of the size of this company. There are a lot of our competitors that are by revenue, hence why you're paying more for their devices. Uh, not within him. We're by volume, but third largest in the world by volume. So that's the one number. Now, the three words are this, low, high, full. Low means lower cost. Due to our volumes, we're going to come in, and as I say, apples to apples against our competitors, or I should say category to category, cats to cats, we're going to come in at a better price because of our volume. Doesn't mean cheap. It just means lower cost. Then the opposite of that lower cost usually means low reliability. Not, not in our case. In our case, we are highly reliable. We have an under 1% failure rate. If we do have an error, it's usually somebody putting in the SIM card improperly or antennas or provisioning or just something that's a little bit user error, which we very easily or one of our top resellers could help as well in there. So lower cost than highly reliable. And the last word I love is fully adaptable. Now, that can mean everything from our devices being fully industrial. So whether it's a baseline product that's going to go into an ATM or a kiosk or it's a full edge gateway, everything we have is fully industrial. But we're also incredibly adaptable. Over a third of our companies are in deep. We love, love, love to white label. We love to take something and find out when somebody goes, hey, we offer many colors. It's black. What color would you like? Well, we're not that guy. We want to be the guy who's going to be able to help you and adapt in a number of different solutions in the IoT and the M2M space on there. You don't believe us? Give us a shot on that fully adaptable. So there we are. We've got three, one number, third largest in the world by volume. And we've got three words for you to remember who InHand Networks is. It's hosting this webinar right now. Low, high, full. Lower cost, highly reliable, and fully adaptable. So... Moving on right here, we, we come across many applications that, uh, as a manufacturer, in this IoT MTM space. And one is specifically EV charging stations. So let's get into the weeds, or get a charge, if you will, out of the challenges to overcoming managing EV chargers. So, Mark, what is the first of these three challenges? So Brian, one of the first challenges to overcome is of course installation. Without a trained network technician always available for every installation, having it easy to install and use the use, usable device is uh, highly beneficial. So give us an example of that. So all of a sudden somebody needs to go out on that. I mean, how do they handle that? I mean, what do most people do right now? And why is this a big challenge? 
So, so with our device, it's it's pretty plug and play. You're able to just simply connect your device to your EV charging station and provide internet connectivity without having to have a, a, a advanced technical background. You can easily set it up and configure the device um, simply and easily. Perfect. And we also have a ton of resellers um, that are part of, of in-hand networks who, if you actually need a physical person to go out there and help with there, they can provide that as well from that. But yeah, that is a big, big challenge of installation, especially if it's a smaller company or their IT is, is tied up with other things to be able to handle this challenge. So what's the second challenge? So another challenge is being able to support maintaining an increasing number of EV charging deployments without the ability to manage and troubleshoot your chargers and networking equipment remotely. You'll spend some unnecessary time and money having to send somebody out into the field every time there's a reported issue or for any kind of maintenance. And uh, we'll get some secret sauce on that one just a little bit later on there. But yeah, that's got to be a huge challenge. How do I manage that? It's obviously more than one there. So what's, what's the third challenge that we have? So lastly, commercial EV chargers require the ability to support multiple functions, such as uh, the such as accepting multiple payment options securely, and even providing digital information and advertisement for stations with digital signage. Perfect. So now that we know those challenges, and obviously there are a lot more, but these are the three that we've come across the most right in here. So let's get, take control of these EV charging station applications with reliable connectivity. Connectivity obviously means cellular in this case right in here, and it's got to be reliable on this. We want to drill down on that. And there's some key functions, Mark, that a reliable cellular solution must be part of. So let's hit the highlights, and then we'll dig down here with a, couple, a specific couple of devices that uh, we'll highly suggest um, in the next por portion here. So some of the key highlights that we're going to touch on a little bit more throughout the webinar is first having pre-configured devices available to be able to have a simplified mass deployment for EV charging stations. Also being able to have a stable and secure connection so you have uh, no worries about having any of your devices or EV charging stations down at any time. We also have devices that provide a Wi-Fi hotspot so you can connect multiple EV chargers at the same time. We also have a in-connect service which provides an encrypted VPN solution so you can securely and ma manage and uh, protect your EV charging payment solutions as well. And then we also have a free and efficient device manager to remotely and manage your devices without having to, to pay extra for that kind of service. Perfect. So these five things we're gonna we're gonna drill down on. Before we do, Mark, let's um let's dig down on three game changers that come with an in-hand device with every single router. And these matter specifically with EV charging. Number one is a three-year warranty. We're not, we're not in the game of, of a year-by-year -year warranty and you're paying to play with that warranty. We come standard with a three-year warranty. Second thing is a full router kit. Well, what's that mean? It means that you're not paying extra for a power supply. You're not paying extra for antennas or for cabling. Everything comes included three-year warranty, full router kit. And we're going to bang the drum on this last one here. Mark just alluded to it just a moment ago. It's, it seems like an oxymoron, but the word free is in front of device manager. We are nobody. Is, it's one word. One of these is not like the other in this case. Nobody else is doing this. A three-year warranty, full router kit, and free device manager on there. So if you have left the webinar mentally for a moment or you got pinged with an email or a text, come right back. Listen right there. Every in-hand router, three-year warranty, full router kit free device manager. All right, that's our quick shameless promotion because it's really, really important, especially when we're trying to solve these EV charger um, challenges that are here. So Mark, I want you right now to highlight, we have two specific reliable device options for smart EV charging of these kiosk solutions. First one is the in-router 302. And for those of you that don't know our vernacular, the 300 is, is our economical router series. And the last number is the number of Ethernet ports. So Mark, tee us up here, help us understand what this router does and then how specifically it applies to the EV charging world. So our first EV charging solution that we have is our in-router 302. This in-router 302 is a fully industrial compact router and a perfect fit for providing a network connection for EV chargers. It is available in LTE Cat4, Cat1, and also Cat1. It is uh, compatible with our InConnect highly secure VPN solution and is also compatible with our free device manager that Brian mentioned is to make it an easy deploy and manage solution. It features two SIM card slots for failover solutions, so you can actually fail over between uh, multiple telecom operators. 
It also has two Ethernet ports. One is a LAN port. The other one is a WAN or LAN port. So you can also use a, a local internet service provider as your main connection and have it fail over to the cellular or vice versa, however you prefer to, to set that up. It also has Wi-Fi as an option. So if you wanted to be able to provide a Wi-Fi hotspot to other EV chargers or other peripheral devices, you have that ability as well. And then, of course, as we mentioned, it is compatible with multiple VPN solutions, including our InConnect service and our device manager. And it is powered by anywhere between 9 and 36 volts and is also, as we mentioned, fully industrial. So you don't have to worry about any kind of temperature, uh, temperature requirements, any kind of static or uh, shock resistant as well on that. And the, the failover features are, of course, with the dual SIM that I mentioned. So you can fail over between either uh, a telecom operator with two of the same SIM cards or two separate telecom operators. Um, you can fail over from the WAN port over to the uh, cellular connection or from the cellular to your local internet service connection. And then we also have multiple features that are going to be detecting any kind of uh, failed internet connection. So it can quickly and automatically fail over to that secondary uh, internet connection so you don't have to worry about any interrupted downtime on your devices. So Mark, okay, now we know what the device is. How does it play in the ecosystem of the EV charger? So this device can be easily set up with your EV charging stations to provide that either that Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection inter internet uh, to your EV charging stations with a fast and reliable connection. Uh, so you can easily manage and remotely uh, deploy these uh, without having any interrupted uh, internet access. And I think you got a visual of that on the next slide, right? Yes, we do. So here's a great example. You can put your in-hand router in IR302 uh, in your EV charging station and also connect another peripheral device uh, over Wi-Fi or that secondary Ethernet port, and then also easily connect to other third-party uh, charging station management platforms and also our device manager and connect platform as well. Which is perfect. So we're flat right there in the middle, and obviously it makes a huge difference on the easeability here and the reliability of of our device and obviously the carrier that's there. But as we're talking about this last part here, we're talking about you know some type of device management and we've got a couple of different options on that. First of all, why is that really important? And what makes ours uh, kind of unique here with these two that uh, we just referenced? So as we mentioned, our device manager is a 100% free solution that we offer. There's no limit to the amount of devices or users you can register with this account. It is a very user friendly, easy to configure with the routers and set up. Um, there's a you can set up multiple uh, different levels of uh, admin access. So if you wanted to have somebody that had the ability to manage and control all of your, your routers, if you just wanted to have somebody that was able to monitor the routers without making any kind of admin changes, you do have that ability as well. Perfect. And uh, I'm sorry, you, you, can you state the price on that one more time? It was free 99. Free 99. I love that one liner. Love that one liner. Now, this is, I mean, majority of, of, of applications, maybe 90 plus percent that we see so far, this works perfectly for them. But if they're wanting to deal with kind of a security issue on that, we have one called the InConnect software. Can you drill down a little bit on that one? Sure thing. So the InConnect platform that we offer is similar to our device manager, still allows you to manage your and control your devices remotely. But what it does is it sets up an open VPN tunnel to your de connected devices. So you can have a uh, secure connection 24 seven without having to worry about any, uh, any kind of uh, security issues on that. So you can easily accept payments and uh, access your devices and other devices connected behind the routers and other uh, securely. It's, it's also very easy to set up, just like our device manager, um, easy to register for an account to add your devices and control them, uh, very user friendly. And we're also here to support any kind of technical needs that you need to get your devices up and running with either of these platforms. Perfect. So we've got two potential solutions that are here. And obviously, we're wanting to solve it for EV chargers. And so we're talking about the, uh, the IR, which stands for in, in router, in hand router, 302. Last number is a number of Ethernet ports on there. It's a very inexpensive option that's there and could work great. But sometimes the simplest or the less expensive option isn't necessarily always the best option. So we've got a second option right here, Mark, the Inbox 720. So take a moment and drill down a little bit on this brand new stinking spanking new device from in hand right now. So our Inbox 720 is our fully industrial cellular smart computer, perfect for even chargers uh, with digital screens and when, when other interfaces are needed besides just Wi-Fi and Ethernet ports. It actually features two 4K HD, HDMI ports to provide a high resolution digital signage, uh, gigabit Ethernet and Wi-Fi for fast connectivity, uh, multiple interfaces and also runs standard with an Android 7.1 operating system. 
Very powerful box. What yeah. else does it do? So with the 5G connectivity, you'll have a faster, more reliable internet connection. It also provides fault alerts for, for preventive maintenance. And the previously mentioned interfaces that are supported are serial, USB, Ethernet, and HDMI. So there shouldn't be any issue connecting any of your peripheral devices to our inbox 720 as well. So just as the in router 302 mark was right at flat in the middle, where would the inbox 720 fall uh, within the solution of um, EV charging and why would we consider needing and using this box? So the inbox 720 would be a good solution for uh, the scenarios where you have to where you require multiple interfaces. Uh, say, for example, you have uh, some security cameras, you have a uh, credit card uh, machine to accept payments. You can plug that into USB. It also has the Ethernet ports and uh, the 5G connectivity. So if you need a little bit more of a speed boost for some maybe remote areas or if you're connecting multiple machines at the same time, uh, this would be a perfect device for that. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, <clears throat> And there's an example. There's the visual of that to see exactly where that falls it falls in line right there. Anything else you want to add as far as the differences between the 302 and the 720 of why somebody would choose one over the other? Well, for the 720, you can connect multiple uh, devices at the same time, either through the HDMI, USB, or the serial port. Uh, so you can connect your, your credit card readers, your display for the digital signage, if your kiosk or your EV charger has a kiosk right. digital sign, and then also it may be some security cameras as well. And also it just has an unbelievable dynamic user interface. Uh, can you unpack that a little bit on that next slide? Right, so the, the user interface is uh, also very user friendly. Uh, you can connect um, your uh, CMS platform. So if you have some uh, digital signs you would like to load or change while the device is online and out in the field, you have that ability as well. And then does support multiple payment options. So the credit cards, and we also have this device being used in some scenarios where uh, facial recognition payments are, are being accepted. Perfect. Unbelievably powerful box. So we've got the in router 302 and the inbox 720. Let's go to the next slide here, Mark. You know, one of the things that's, you know, companies oftentimes that I'm on webinars and I don't understand necessarily the full breadth of what uh, a company does. Obviously, you know, if it's a webinar similar to this, you know, it's highlighting one or two specific devices. But for those of you just still trying to figure out, okay, hey, what are some other layers, if you will, for peeling back this in-hand onion, if you will, that uh, we can kind of fit in into this. So will you slice up these four real quick, Mark, and help us to know what these devices do and, and, and how they're relevant? Sure thing. So we also, so this, we have, of course, our InConnect and device manager platform, but we also have other platforms for other different applications besides EV charging. Uh, and then we also have, besides just our in router 302, we also have other fully industrial cellular routers for other scenarios. For example, we have our in router 615, which uh, has four Ethernet ports and one WAN port. So if you needed a device or if you needed a router that had more uh, Ethernet ports available, we do have uh, solutions for that as well. We also have edge computing gateways. So if you ever have an application where you needed to do uh, computing on the edge, or connect to uh, cloud computing platforms like Amazon AWS or Microsoft Azure, we have that ability as well. And then we also have devices designed specifically for vehicle usage. So we have our in-vehicle gateway, which is perfect for uh, providing diagnostics on your vehicle and, and GPS tracking. And then we also have a simple in-vehicle tracker, which just allows you to remotely uh, track your uh, vehicle assets. Perfect. And the last side is the, the sensors, controllers, and industrial devices, which is very, very strong for us globally. Uh, just kind of wrapping things up here before we get to some Q&A and some questions that uh, were presented before the webinar that we want to talk through as well. I love this slide. And one of the reasons I love it is, it's, well, it's kind of funny to me because it shows all our verticals and all of our verticals are horizontal, if you get that on, on a little bit of happy after Monday afternoon humor there. But it shows kind of our top three verticals for us globally um, as a company. Um, smart grid, industrial automation, commercial ATMs, healthcare, transportation, security, and vending. And what's neat about these names on here, they didn't buy one device and we threw their logo up. These are guys who are inter intertwined with us and locked in with us in multiple ways. And as we talked about being fully adaptable, many of these companies, we've had to be fully adaptable. You know, they got frustrated because the other guy said, yeah, we can offer any color. It's black. What color would you like? And they needed multiple colors. And we became that guy. We became that company for them on there. So if anything, we really hope this makes you feel a little bit more secure about who we are as a company and our ability to help you. So Mark, any closing comments or, or any other questions? I, I got a couple of questions that came in, but I want to turn it over to you for a moment. 
I've checked the questions, but uh, as we mentioned before, uh, feel free to reach out to any, any of us at any time, even if it's on the weekends. If you have any questions about any of the solutions that we covered, if you think there might be a better solution that we offer that might fit your application a little bit better, um, we're going to show our uh, contact information one more time. So uh, my cell phone is listed there. So as I mentioned, feel free to email, call, text, whatever is most convenient, and I'd be happy to address those questions as they come up. Perfect. Uh, one question that came in before the webinar was, who do we reach out to? How do we handle it? What do we do if, we, if all of a sudden we feel, man, this is a really good solution for us? Um, honestly, you reach out to one of us. We'd be happy to point you in the right direction. We have a handful of very, very good um, uh, resellers, some that have a lot more specialty in certain devices or even in certain platforms. We have one specific uh, reseller who has, is an expert on, on the InConnect platform. So we want to make sure that we can point you in the right direction. Another question came in was asking about, well, what carriers do you guys have? We're a global company. So for us, really about any possible carrier that's uh, it's worth its weight, um, we are going to have a relationship, especially here in the U.S., you know, with, with T-Mobile and, and AT&T and Verizon. Um, so we can help and point you in the right direction there as well. Uh, Mark, this looks like one question just came in. Um, yeah. Is the IR302 in stock? And what is the typical lead time for delivery? So in hand networks, we actually took a more proactive approach to uh, handling this uh, global component shortages that uh, seems like everyone is experiencing or having to deal with. Uh, so we can, we actually secured other components from other suppliers uh, to be able to not have uh, extended the lead times and uh, keep the IR302 readily available. So they are fully in stock and ready for order. Um, and then also the, the estimated lead times, I believe is, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Brian, about two to three weeks from our factory uh, once we have those uh, PO accepted and uh, shipped out. Correct. So the moral of the story here, kids, is we're in the front of the line. So if there's devices to be had and if there's parts to be had, um, Indian has done a phenomenal proactive job to be in front of what Mark did mention as far as with the shortage. And we're just feeling in every part of the world, but specifically, you know, in, in our space here, you know, with IoT and M2M. -M. So a, another question came in and it was asking as far as what about um, any product wise that are up and coming here? What, is there anything exciting that we should be prepared for that's uh, in, the, in the coming weeks and months? So besides the, the routers that we previously discussed, we also have up and coming 5G devices. So we'll have uh, some 5G enterprise routers for um, more of a um, enterprise solution. So if you needed uh, a device that provided a higher uh, internet speeds uh, to multiple more than just a couple uh, devices at the same time, we do have some of those upcoming as well. Perfect, which leads into another question that came in was what about 5G? And uh, yes, we are in the 5G game and uh, we're in the midst of certification and working through those details. So we'll have a webinar um, shortly on that once that's about ready to launch or launching. But again, it will fit the model, remember, of having the three-year warranty. It'll fit hit the model of, of uh, free cloud and full kitting even on those devices right there. Um, so that was a really good question as well. And uh, just to make sure we're clear on this, we are the manufacturer. We rely unbelievably heavy on our channel partners and they have stock. And for those who are looking for somebody who goes, hey, do you have stock in this or expertise in this? We would be happy to point you in the right direction of those as well. So any closing comments, questions, snide remarks, Mark or anybody else? Don't see any uh, further questions, but I just want to thank everybody for their time today joining our EV charging webinar. And uh, as we mentioned, if there's any questions or comments that come up, uh, feel free to reach out to us at any time. And how about these apples? We are under 30 minutes for a webinar. It is possible, webinar fans, and we just proved it in 25 minutes. So anyway, we're honored to have you here. If we can serve you in any way, please reach out to us and uh, we'll close from now. I absolutely love and appreciate your interest in in-hand networks. Thank you all and have a great afternoon.